how can you protect yourself from inflation? We're going to answer that right now. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Vancouver. If you want to learn ways to be approved for mortgage, home buying tips, and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. Inflation is going up higher and higher. The government seems to be very comfortable with higher inflation though. There is no point in fighting the government. It's best to adjust your strategy and see how you can protect yourself from higher inflation. Well, first off, let's go over what inflation is. Inflation is the rate at which prices increase. You'll hear old folks who would say things like, I remember when stamps used to be just 10 cents. Now they're $1. Or I remember buying a Big Mac for only five bucks and now it's, man, it's almost $7. Normal growth in inflation is good. In fact, the Bank of Canada wants to target growth at 2% each year. That shows the economy is growing in a healthy manner. Nowadays though, inflation is around 4 to 5% and the Bank of Canada doesn't seem to be concerned about it, saying that it's just temporary, so don't worry about it. If you've gone out to eat, the menus are new with higher prices, or if you're, for Chinese restaurants, there'll be a white sticker on top of the old price with a newer and higher price. Portions may be smaller than before and you really feel the effects of inflation. With inflation too high, it's a problem because the purchasing power of your money decreases. Before you could buy two meals for $20, now with the same $20, you can only buy one meal. So. How can you protect yourself from inflation? You have to invest. You need to put your money in assets that will grow with inflation. If you're having your money that you're saving with no plans of using a new feature in your bank account, well, that's just the dumbest thing you could do. Invest in. Well, what can you invest in? There's stocks, crypto, gold, silver, commodities, and of course, real estate. I'm going to talk more about real estate because it is really one of the best ways to protect yourself from inflation. When inflation is high, home prices tend to move higher as well. But with real estate, you can take advantage of leveraging. Leveraging is a way to use other people's money to buy an asset. In this case, you want to buy a property that's worth say 500,000, you may only need to pay 100,000 only and you can borrow the remaining 400,000. Now, imagine inflation stays high and the price goes up. Your property was 500,000, but now it's say 550,000. Okay, so it increased by 50,000 and that's a 10% return, right? Well, yes and no. If you calculate it using 500,000, yes, that's 10% return. But you didn't put down 500,000 though. The money you put was only 100,000. So if it went up by 50,000, that's actually a 50% return. So you can see how powerful this is because with 50% return, it has to be able to cover the rate of inflation even if it's higher than normal within the four to 5% range. Now I understand not everyone may be able to buy real estate. So there are other options that I've mentioned. Real estate, in my opinion, will be the best way. Bottom line is, just make sure you're investing your money. Don't let it just sit there in your checking or savings account. The money may look the same, but the purchasing power or its value is declining. And there you go. We just went over how you can protect yourself from inflation. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more and make sure you click on the notification bell so you won't miss a video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Rise Mortgage. We're always achieving your approval.